Hello and welcome to the DevForge network. In this video, I'm going to explain the problem space that Git solves. So in engineering, you never want to try to solve a problem that doesn't exist. So if you don't understand the problem space that Git tries to solve, why would you ever use Git? So let's talk about why Git is so important to collaborative development. Let's say that your team wants to build a chess game. And seriously, forgive my handwriting. Uh, this is why I'm not an artist. So you want to write chess. Let's say you've got four guys, right? Four machines here. All right, so this guy's gonna write the UI. This guy's gonna write the AI. This guy's gonna write, I don't know, the server. And this dude, he's gonna do, he's gonna do gameplay, right? So you got these four guys. One scenario is that each of these developers is going to build their their part of the chess game in a bubble. So the problem is that if you try to do this, uh, I can almost promise you that integrating at the very end, so the UI, the UI programmer builds all of his UI and the AI guy builds all of his AI and the server is built and then the gameplay is built, you do all of this and then try to integrate it at the end, nothing's going to work and you're going to spend you may have to rewrite entire systems and spend a lot of time debugging because the api that the server guy wrote is probably completely different from what the ui guy is expecting right so so you don't want to do this instead what we need is a way for as each piece of the ai is completed and each piece of the server is completed uh, there needs to be a central a central location that they can kind of push all of their stuff to that is visible to all of the different developers involved. So UI guy writes UI, AI guy writes AI, the server's done. And then the gameplay guy can see all of this stuff and write his gameplay code, right? And then he pushes his stuff, he pushes his stuff, and then the game is done, right? And all of these guys can see this right here. So there are several solutions to this problem. Uh, but the one that this channel is going to focus on and the one that lots and lots of developers are currently using and in my opinion is the easiest to use is called git and we're going to talk about in the next video conceptually how git solves this problem and we'll introduce the key commands needed to use git so that's all for this video don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching